what's up youtube welcome to the video in this video we will talk about uh, function and uh, its type in sql server so it can get confusing because there are uh, these bunch of types of functions in uh, sql server but uh, after watching this video you won't have any confusion so uh, we are talking about a user defined function in this videos there are also other type of functions which are called system functions you can see over here if you go over to programmability and functions and there is this system functions so there are all types of functions defined here so we are not uh, talking about the uh, system function but we are talking about the user defined functions in this video so so there are some rules and regulation to consider uh, when using functions the uh, first ones are uh, on outside tables you can only use select command however you can use any dml commands on inside tables so the dml commands are uh, insert update and delete so what i mean by outside and inside tables the outside table means uh, the table already created and are permanent what i mean is uh, these type of table like this student table so it is already created and it's a permanent table and the inside table means that uh, the table which we will create inside the functions and they will be temporary so uh, there will not be a file created with those table they will be uh, temporary and when the function finishes those tables will be gone so this outside table and inside table terms are not actual terms but i have used them to define the concept now uh, we are talking about user defined functions and the first type is inline table valued function the first example is create function and it it will say get all students or uh, we can use the uh, we can use our different uh, database for this so let's use this so let's use this employee table so i have to say organization db so get all employees begin and end so uh, as it is a one liner function i will write returns table so it is necessary to define uh, what uh, are we going to return in uh, any of the function and it is necessary to uh, return some value in a function so we uh, we are saying that we will return a table and then we are defining that what table are we returning so return then these uh, brackets select star from employee table so this is a, a complete inline table valued function a table valued function is that functions uh, which returns a table so that uh, that is called a table that is called a that is called a table valued function and uh, as it is a uh, one liner it is called inline but we write this function as like this so this is a uh, this is an example of table valued function we can uh, also make it uh, interesting by defining the alias so this will not affect my actual table but uh, these are temporary names which will uh, make my table look good i can create this so create it successfully and then to use this i need to write the function's name which is get employees and i should write it in a select command so select star from get all employees 
so this is how you call a function the table has returned and it has the uh, column names that I defined so this is how a function works now for the second example I am creating a function so now I am taking parameters from which will be an integer type parameter and add to will also be an integer type parameter and then return returns table it means that we will return a table then we are defining that we will return this type of table so select star from employee employee table where imp id is between from and to and we do not put semicolon over here we close the bracket and then put the semicolon you can see that uh, uh, it is giving me a red line because I cannot define two functions within the same query if I want to do that uh, I can make different badges so I can put a go statement over here what it does it uh, it, uh, it's like so uh, the go keyword is used to create different badges so if I if I have typed go here then the badge one ends here so the badge one started from the top and the badge one ends here and we can say that badge two starts from here so a badge is uh, just a bunch of uh, SQL query commands so now I can create this function and then to run the function I need to write select star from get employees by range and then give the ranges okay so uh, these are the IDs of employees I can say that I want to get the employee between 100 to 501 100 to 300 and then when I select the employee with the ID of 500 is not showing and uh, it would be better if I create something like get employee by salary range so now uh, I will only change this to salary and then I can say that 80,000 salary so uh, it's getting me only two employees which have a salary between 40,000 and 80,000 and before defining the second type of function I, I should also comment the concept of returns and the concept of return so these are two different keyword the return means that this will be the type of value that we will return and the return keyword means that this is the actual value that we are returning so uh, return uh, in the return we are uh, specifying that this type of value that we will return this type of value at the end of the function and uh, the return keyword means that this is the actual value that we are currently returning so look at here returns table this means that at the end of this function we will return a table and this return keyword means that we are returning this table so there is a difference now for the second type of function it is the multi statement table valued function 
so still we are returning a table but this time the statement will be multi-line so create function and this time we will fetch some record but we will fetch the record from different id so this time it won't be a range so there is this id1 id2 and id3 so these are the these are the parameters and we will type returns but this time we are not saying that uh, we we will return our table but we are actually creating a table inside our function so we will say that returns at final table which will be uh, of the type table and it will have an id so this is the type of table that we are returning then we have to type as begin as it is a multi line function so we have to type the as begin and end then inside this we will write insert into add final table and then we will combine it with the select query so select star from employee table where employee id is equals to at id 1 so basically uh, this is the uh, type of query which we use to copy the contents of one table into another table so what we are doing here is we are copying the ids from employee table to our final table we will do it three times so we will insert this first id inside our final table this second id and the third id inside our final table and then we will return this final table we don't have to specify that what we are returning because we already have specified that we will return a table and its name is final table so the final table will get returned starts from here i am putting these comments so you would know the concept of badges a badges is just a, a bunch of query lines so now uh, to call this function i need the name uh, fetch records and first let me get the entire table so this is the entire table and i am select star from fetch records so first let's let me create this table so the table is created then we can fetch the record so i have uh, pressed ctrl shift r now it is giving me the suggestion so the first id will be uh, 100 then 500 and then 300 execute and it is giving me the three employees from this three different ids so it is preparing a table at the uh, in the uh, at final table and then returning the at final table then i will uh, again now for the final type of function that we are discussing is the scalar function create function average salary of employee employees and it will return an integer so it is not called as a table value valued function because uh, it does not return a table any function which returns a plain value like an integer or a word char or anything is called a scalar function declare i am declaring a variable and then i am selecting the average 
salary from employee table and putting it inside my at salary variable so the average salary has gone into my at cell variable and I am gonna return that at cell variable I have to specify the name of the variable because I have written that I will return a, a integer but what integer so I have to return I have to say that I am returning this salary variable another thing is that uh, I can use the uh, average uh, salary employees variable it's not returning me a, a, a whole bunch of table but just one value just one integer or just one word char so i can use the variable uh, function like this so let's create this function then execute this function so it is not recognized for scalar functions it is necessary to define dbo before the function's name so uh, uh, it cannot uh, identify the function without this dbo it is the specification that the table is created by us otherwise it would be sys so the system cre system created function so uh, we can select the uh, uh, our average employee salary like this and we can also use the print statement in this scalar functions case so uh, this uh, select statement is showing me uh, showing this uh, average salary as a table but this print function will show it as a text value so we can use this print function also in the scalar function another thing uh, uh, that i have said but not written is a function always returns something and i will also say it's mandatory so these were the concepts of uh, functions and these were the types of functions So this is all for the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. See you next time.